Okay, hello guys and welcome to our round table today. Uh, today we have, uh, we're here to share our experience uh, on gambling industry as well to discuss uh, the prediction for 2023. So stay tuned. Uh, let's just wait a minute for everyone to gather and just let me know if you can hear and see as well somewhere in the comments so we know that everything is fine. Okay, let me know if the sound is good, please. Okay, so while we're waiting for everyone, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, and there we post uh, lots of videos, lots of interesting and useful videos uh, on how to become successful with uh, our ad formats and also last week we have just posted the video uh, about antivirus vertical and or you can find the videos on our new features and how to succeed with them as well so there will be the link in the chat so check it now Okay, so it seems that the majority of users are right now here, so we can start. And let me know if there will be uh, any troubles with uh, the sound, please. Okay, so let me start by introducing myself, uh, the topic, and our guests for today. So my name is Anastasia Kazakova. I'm Chief Commercial Officer at Richard's Advertising Network. I have been working in this company for five years right now, and I have experience in all the main verticals that work for push and pops. And uh, basically, my job is uh, to make uh, the affiliate marketers uh, uh, to uh, give them profit and uh, to help them uh, to uh, get the audience for the offers and just uh, earn with us. So today we are going to discuss Gambling Vertical in 2022 and make predictions for the upcoming year. Uh, no one can argue that gambling has been the biggest vertical and uh, like no other verticals, it's uh, completely stable. So during the pandemic and the COVID times, we saw that this vertical only grew because I think lots of people were at home and they were eager to gamble. And uh, each year we're seeing how this vertical is growing up. So I'm sure that 2023 will be uh, nothing different from our previous experience. So today we will cover everything that we know uh, about gambling and how you can succeed in this particular vertical. So now I'm honored to introduce people who will tell you more uh, about uh, their experience uh, and what they know about this particular vertical. Uh, we invited three experts who uh, know a lot about uh, gambling and are eager to share the thoughts with you. So please meet uh, Nikita Lee, affiliate team lead from Revenue Lab, a, glo uh, a global aggregator of affiliate programs. Hello, everyone. My name is Nikita. I am an affiliate team lead at RevenueLab.biz. So RevenueLab.biz is the biggest affiliate aggregator in the world. We have been working in the iGaming industry for more than 11 years with more than 11,000 affiliates and over 1,000 brands worldwide integrated into our system. So our main traffic source is SEO, but we also work with the most of traffic sources, including Facebook, AdWords, email, uh, etc so thanks a lot uh, to richards for inviting me to this round table and let's get it started okay thank you so much thank you so much for the introduction so we're also lucky to have here uh jane zim uh, uh the product manager from igaming combo uh, cpa network yeah hi guys thanks a lot for seeing all of us and uh, for inviting me uh, so I am about 80 years in affiliate industry right now, and I will be really happy if I can share my experience with you and uh, I want to be helpful. 
so I work for iGaming Combo. It's a project by a combo. We are focused on the best uh, offers for gambling, uh, betting, and crypto. And we give uh, apps for our affiliates for free for promotion. As well, we make localized landing pages. Uh, and we help even newbies to have a good start in this industry. Okay, so thank you so much for the introduction. And last but not least, uh, let me introduce one more expert, uh, Kirill, affiliate team leader from One With Partners affiliate program. Hello all, I'm Kirill. I have uh, more than seven years of experience in uh, CPA. Uh, for the last two years, I work uh, at uh, One Win Partners. So uh, we are direct uh, affiliate program from the uh, direct uh, advertiser in gambling uh, and betting vertical. So we are working now just with our own products. Uh, we uh, can offer you different countries. We accept uh, different traffic sources like uh, CO, uh, ASO, uh, and others. So uh, we will be glad to see you uh, in our affiliate program. Okay, so thank you so much. So now I just want to mention that during this particular webinar, you can have any questions, so you can write them in the chat and we will answer them at the end of this video. We will have a Q&A session. So if during any part of this webinar you have any questions, so feel free to write it in the chat and we will get there. So you already know that I represent WeChat's Advertising Network and uh, Gambling Vertical is one of our main verticals and has always been uh, one of the biggest one. Uh, we are working with uh, such offers for five years uh, and uh, we have only seen a great success uh, among these verticals. So we provide different uh, types of traffic. Uh, right now we have uh, five uh, uh, formats uh, that you can start uh, working with. So they are uh, just a classical push ads. Uh, this is our main format. We have started with it since uh, 2018, I think. Uh, there are some uh, modification, uh, modification to this format. So we have a uh, calendar push, we have uh, in-page uh, push format. And with these formats, you can go and target the iOS uh, users. Uh, uh, and with uh, just a regular classic push, there is no such an option. So if you're looking for iOS traffic, this is a great format that you can use. Uh, plus, we have uh, pops and uh, direct click ads uh, they are also really great formats uh, if you are using if you are looking for a cheaper way to uh, to attract your audience I think uh, it's a good way for you to go with pops and if you are looking for something to bring you more of these conversions uh, I think you need to try our direct click because it has uh, the higher uh, CR rate among uh, all the formats that we have. So uh, what are the best options to launch gambling offers at reach ads at the moment? So uh, I would recommend you to go with uh, free uh, formats. So it's classic push ads. Uh, you can go with new subscribers option. So there will be only users who have been subscribed to push for less than seven days. They are working really great for a gambling also for all the verticals because you know they are really new they are really interested to see how it's working they haven't been around this uh for a long time so they are really convertive one uh also i advise you to go with pops traffic pops is great for gambling because gambling is such a big offer that doesn't really have any uh, gender classification right now or any age group that is only interested in it. So with the POPs traffic, you can really go and just target the whole audience and you will find lots of people who are interested with it. And uh, with this specific uh, offer, it's working great. And as I said before, uh, with uh, this uh, specific gambling offer, there are usually uh, two types of uh, the action that 
you may uh, have with your offer. One of them is registrations and the other one will be uh, the deposits. So if you are looking for the deposits, then it's definitely good for you to try the direct click because uh, this format is uh, bringing a great amount of conversions and uh, it's usually working the best uh, for side gambling offers that are looking for deposits. Okay, so uh, this screen uh, shows uh, the geos that we're advising you to launch uh, with us. So basically, uh, geos are rapidly changing, you know, that some uh, kind of offer may pop up uh, in uh, some kind of geo. So uh, everyone is moving there and uh, it's constantly just changing. So each uh, month we do uh, the digest where we update all the top geos that we recommend you to launch specific offer for. And for this month, uh, our top geos uh, you can see right here is Indonesia, Thailand, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, among uh, the European countries. I think Germany is our number one for uh, this specific month. Uh, you can go to Bangladesh, to Brazil, India, and Turkey. Turkey. Okay, so uh, you can just stay tuned to our blog and uh, there we are updating our digest. So if you will want to uh, see the information for the previous month, you can also find it there and just compare how the geos can be changed. Uh, so now when you know more about us, when you know more about Richess, it's time to actually talk with uh, our uh, experts for today. They already gave some introduction uh, of themselves. So if you want to add something, we will have the slides right now and uh, they will be able to add some information about themselves. So uh, guys, if you have anything to add, Kirill, I kindly ask you to be the first one. Maybe there are some more details that you want to uh, let us know about, about the One Win Partners company. Um, yeah, tell, uh, let me tell you a little bit more about OneWin. Uh, we are a uh, direct advertiser, as I said uh, previously. Um, our main markets uh, for a long time was uh, CIS countries like Russia, Kazakhstan, Uk Ukraine, Azerbaijan, uh, Azerbaijan uh, Uzbekistan. But uh, for last two years, we um, started our work uh, in... Uh, Asia in India, it's an amazing uh, country. It's amazing market, and this year we launched in Brazil. Uh, so I highly recommend you to try with our affiliate program uh, to launch India in Brazil. Also, Tur uh, Turkey works works amazing. Uh, we can offer three models: uh, CPA, revenue share, and hybrid model. You can choose the, those model that wor will work for you better. So we can offer a CPA up to 200 uh, USD, uh, depends on the geo you work with. Um, a revenue share, 50% uh, of GGR. It's an amazing deal because uh, most of advertisers, uh, they offer you NGR. So also our high, uh, high educated managers, uh, they will help you with the launch of your campaigns with the creatives and uh, any other information. So let's be in touch and uh, try our offer one bean. It sounds really great. And I, I see how we have the similarities in Geo. So I think uh, it's really just, you know, uh, useful. Yeah. You can take the offer and come with us and just run this offer on the Geos that we have because they are the same. That's really great. So thank you so much for uh, this info. It was really useful. Uh, Jane, uh, now let's go with the uh, iGaming combo. Maybe you have uh, anything else to add? Uh, yeah, we have uh, more than 3,000 uh, iGaming offers, uh, as well as crypto offers uh, and uh, lots of uh, betting and uh, other uh, different offers. If you uh, want to work with Neutra, we have our own, own Neutra as well uh, at Combo, uh, as far as you know. Uh, and uh, also, uh, 
if uh, you need applications, we will uh, give you them for free. Uh, they are, uh, and uh, also uh, for crypto, we have uh, lots of opportunities uh, with uh, API because you can create your own landing pages and just uh, you are free to go. Uh, so it's uh, very easy and we have all the guides uh, and uh, even a newbie can start earning with us. That sounds great. So thank you so much. And Nikita, maybe some more words about the Revenue Lab. So Revenue Lab is the biggest affiliate aggregator in the world. You don't need to work with the brands directly because we have all of them in, inside our system. So you will have just one point of contact. You just have one manager and this one manager can answer to all of your questions. So make a register on revenuelab.biz and you will be happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, guys, for joining us today and for uh, your introduction. So uh, now let's go to our main part, to the webinar itself. So uh, just let me start with the agenda uh, that we will have for today. We have uh, several burning issues that we need to cover up. So the first one is gambling in 2022. So the results of uh, the outgo outgoing year, sorry. Uh, the second one is how to choose uh, casino offers in 2023. So will there be any differences or everything stays the same? Any opinions on that? Uh, the third one is popular sources of the upcoming year. Uh, the, the, sec um, the next one is uh, creatives and landing pages, uh, what will work and some predictions for 2023, what's new. And I hope we will have enough time for the Q&A session. So if you have any questions, just write them in the chat. If you want to ask a specific person, you can leave it with the name. If you have uh, the question for everyone, then just without any names. And uh, at the end of this uh, webinar on the Q&A part, we will answer all the questions. I hope we will have enough time. Also, please note that after this round table, you will receive an email uh, with uh, this YouTube webinar recording. Uh, you will also find uh, the link with today's presentation. So if you have missed some part of this webinar, maybe you have joined us not from the very beginning or you have some things to do, don't worry. You will have an opportunity to rewatch this whole webinar and to find uh, the part that you have missed or that you want to watch one more time. Also, the email will include all the list of bonuses that you will have from this particular webinar. We will have a lot of them, so please stay tuned. Uh, and uh, now let's go to the main part, to the discussion. So we have five questions and the Q&A to go to. Uh, so let's start with uh, the first uh, question. As you have noticed, uh, this year is slowly coming to an end, uh, so it's time to make uh, some uh, conclusions. So uh, the first question is going to be about that. So guys, uh, what changes have you noticed in terms of gambling vertical if uh, we're compared to 2021? So what are the changes uh, between 2021 and 2022 that you have noticed? I think we can start uh, with Kirill. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, this year was uh, really different from the previous. Um, for example, it, uh, it was traffic sources. Um, on example of our company, I can tell you that um, the market was changed and uh, the main traffic sources uh, became like a uh, CEO, but it's uh, modificated for the, especially for applications. So the traffic source uh, is um, application search uh, optimization became one of the biggest uh, source uh, this year. So uh, it's like a native uh, traffic source uh, or organic maybe. So uh, our, uh, affiliates, uh, publishers, they trying to push the application in uh, application search like uh, Google Store or App Store. So this traffic source uh, became one of the biggest. 
this year. So I think uh, it's one of the most uh, difficult uh, di difference uh, in this year traffic. So also, um, also the geos. I think uh, for our affiliates, um, they keep trying uh, new geos. Uh, so this year, um, the geography of uh, iGambling uh, was uh, more wider than previous years. So I think these uh, changes so we had this year. What was uh, the number one geo for 2021 and 2022? Uh, for if you're talking about our company in 2021, uh, it was Russia. It was uh, number one co uh, country, and this year it's uh, Brazil. It's amazing. Okay. It's amazing geo, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's I, I offer to try this <laughs> this geo. Okay, thank you so much. So, um, Jay, maybe you have noticed any frequent mistakes that, that the affiliates are making. So, maybe during this year there were some special mistakes or everything stays the same, mistakes are the same. Uh, I suppose there are several mistakes that still affiliates make. Uh, for example, um, for gambling offers, usually the target audience is uh, 25 plus and men. But uh, sometimes uh, people uh, try and other type of uh, audience and uh, it can be crucial because uh, if uh, the offer terms is really strict, uh, you may have problems uh, with the payment and so on. That's why I really recommend to you uh, to uh, discuss with your affiliate manager and uh, manager of uh, a network um, before uh, doing some campaigns, uh, this kind of traffic. And as well, if uh, you work with uh, applications, and uh, like web view apps or pva apps uh, it's really cool when you work properly with push because uh, you need to push your client to make some action registration deposit and so on but uh, it's very um, important to use them wisely because uh, when you just start pushing uh, this client uh, every hour of the day, it could be also crucial because uh, the user just will delete your app and you won't uh, have uh, this deposit and registration. So, uh, and also uh, if you uh, you see that uh, tracking is not working, for example, you uh, can't make a test lead. It's better to, to speak with your affiliate manager as well because there can be a technical issue or there should be uh, some problems with landing pages and uh, this also can ruin your campaign for sure. Even before the start, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very important. Okay, so you see that the frequency with which uh, uh, affiliates are trying to push the user, this is like the crucial moment. So everyone just wants to make it even like each 30 minutes. And yeah, this is not always the case because the CDR is dropping really fast. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for these uh, details. Okay, and uh, do you have any tips uh, for the upcoming year, maybe based on what we had this year? Uh, Nikita, maybe you can help us with this question. About tips? Yeah, some tips uh, based on the results of 2020, uh, 2022 uh, for 2023. Uh, yeah, so our main tip is like to see on the new markets because uh, in 2022 has many new interesting markets for the gambling industry, such as Latin America, Brazil, as mentioned at Kirill, and uh, our tip is just to look for the uh, new markets. So Chile is really interesting yeah, as well. We didn't hear a lot about it, but the average player value is higher than in our countries in this region. So Chile is like... Uh, 
uh, Latin American Switzerland, and I think it will be growing up. So this um, the market of Bangladesh has recently gained uh, a lot of attention. So also we recommend to check the Asian regions because uh, they are not was previously full, fully explored by all. Um, yeah, so and uh, most of the gambling in Asia at the moment is in offline. So and we saw on this year that uh, a, a lot of traffic uh, coming from uh, in online. So the Asian market will be growing as well. Um, yeah, so just uh, I want to select a few things about the previous year, the, this year, because a lot of uh, regulation countries appeared in, the, in this year. So the state of Ontario uh, had a regulation. Also, we see that Netherlands and Germany became more regulated this year. Um, we see a trend that affiliates and brands exiting these markets because of the strict rules. So uh, the United States is also on its towards legalization. There are more and more states now that issue licenses. So the casino brands and big affiliates have reduced investment in Europe because of the strict regulations and are cu currently distributing budgets to other regions. So um, and also crypto is growing up. So we recommend to see the new markets. Uh, as money is going away from Europe and also we recommend to see on the crypto casinos and crypto, find the crypto traffic because it's really interesting and I think it, it will be the big part of uh, casino uh, industry in the 2023. Thank you so much. That was really interesting to hear. Yeah, I totally agree. We see how Geos has changed a lot as well because uh, I think 2021 was more about Europe and like this year 2022 it was more about asia latin america and just a few countries uh in europe who are still staying strong with uh the gambling vertical but yeah there is so many geos that are just popping up and i believe that in 2023 we will have absolutely the same situation so now let's move to our second uh, topic. So uh, what about choosing uh, the best offers for 2023? Uh, I think you have uh, so much experience in this. Uh, well, way more than we do, because basically we have experience in traffic and you have experience in offers. And uh, it's really interesting to talk with you about it. Uh, can you share some criteria that you need to take uh, into, into consideration where, when you are making the choice uh, between the offer? Maybe there are some specific uh, red flags that you should avoid when you see it in the offer or something like that. Uh, I think, uh, Jane, maybe you can start and help us with that. Yeah, of course. Uh, as to me, I suppose that quality really matters. And uh, if you choose uh, an offer, the offer should be really of a good quality. I mean, uh, there should be nice landing pages that really can attract users. The, uh, the level of usability in this landing page should be really high because uh, every person, even with low net connection or unexperienced person, should understand how to fill in uh, these lines, how to register in this casino, and so on. Uh, then I really recommend to um, uh, uh, watch the trends. For example, uh, this year is like uh, a, a tr uh, the main trend of this year is uh, aviator slot. And lots of people really want this slot they want interaction with this slot and uh, they need apps, creatives, uh, landing pages. And uh, if you uh, see what uh, trends are in uh, the market, it's uh, much easier to, um, uh, to choose the best traffic sources and uh, the best offer for these traffic sources. And as well, uh, there is a, a very important point is payment methods, because uh, they should be common for this exact geo. For example, if you uh, run traffic for Bangladesh, uh, 
uh, there should be uh, the cash because it's the main um, um, uh, the main payment option for this uh, country. And if you run traffic, for example, for Uzbekistan, uh, there should be Uz cards. And the, um, also the most important thing that uh, if you uh, do not have your own uh, apps and you rent it from network, from aggregator, from uh, some uh, other people, you must understand, you must check that all the payment options are working in this application. It's very important for Brazilian region uh, which are, um, guys are, were already discussed because they have Baleta payment option with lots of uh, windows and not uh, really each uh, app uh, can uh, such possibilities to show these lots of windows and uh, sometimes uh, user can't uh, uh, finish their payment. And um, you understand that if uh, the user can't finish the payment, you won't have a deposit or you won't have a good retention rate, which is extremely important to get paid and to have a bump, of course, because everybody wants a bump. So I um, suppose, yeah. Yeah, I, I heard a lot that with Brasilia, there are lots of problems with the payment. So. Uh, do you see it happening still? Is it really, uh, is it that hard to actually have this uh, pay through uh, with Brazil? Uh, I suppose no, because uh, uh, you know, lots of guys, they have updated their payment methods and uh, their applications as well. And I suppose uh, that's, yeah. Kirill, yeah, uh, I, I, I hear Kirill. You have something yeah. to say. About it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I, uh, I, uh, I want to tell you about the Brazil market. Uh, so Jane told us about the Baleta. It was the popular um, payment method in Brazil, but for the last two years, uh, Pix became the most popular there, and about. Uh, 90, 95, 98 percent of all payments in Brazil are uh, made by Pix. So, uh, if Pix, uh, if the casino product uh, has Pix, uh, you will uh, the 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 player uh, will deposit without any problems. So it's uh, really easy. It's just one uh, page uh, payment. Uh, so. It's uh, really, really good. And uh, I think Pix changed this market. Um, if we are talking about the gambling and betting, it's uh, really easy to pay by Pix. So that's why uh, for this year, maybe last year, uh, Brazil is uh, really rocking and this market will be uh, grow up. Oh, so this is really a red flag. If you see the offer without it, you're like, there is no yeah. way I will do something in it. So yeah, so that's that's a great tip. That's a great tip. Thank you. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, you have any other of the red flags that you should really look into. Uh, uh, yeah, also I uh, advise you to take a look on the payouts. Uh, don't believe to the really high payouts. Uh, my suggestion to you to start from the uh, average or maybe low payouts uh, and advertiser or affiliate network, they can increase it to you. But uh, when you see, for example, for Brazil, a payout like uh, 70, 80 USD dollars, uh, first of all, try to check minimal deposit. Because uh, uh, if you see high uh, payouts, uh, it's a uh, big chance that uh, the uh, the minimal deposit will be over 10 USD dollars, like 10, 20 dollars or more. So that is no uh, really good way to work with these offers, um, especially it's, it has a uh, big payout. Um, also, I suggest you, as uh, Jane told us uh, already, uh, to check the funnel uh, from the registration si uh, form uh, and see how it will work on your side. Also, after registration, will you see the payment page or you will uh, 
you will have a possibility to check the product before making the deposit. So it also uh, will appear on your um, decision, I think. So um, uh, local payment solution. It's the main uh, point you will uh, check uh, in the f uh, first time. So also registration form, uh, what slots um, also works because uh, also Jane told us about the Aviator. It's an amazing product uh, and it's rocking uh, the market uh, for last years. Um, if we're talking about our company, we have own us uh, crash game Lucky Jet that uh, also rocked uh, this market and so many partners who came to us uh, to try this uh, slot. So it's not a slot crash game. Um, so check uh, what Zina has options like payment, slots, uh, also withdrawal, minimal deposits. Uh, take care on it. Okay, okay, that's really great. And do you see any difference uh, between the seasons? So do you see uh, any uh, correlations with uh, the season and the offer that the users are going to or there is no like seasonal thing in Gambon at all? Uh, if we're talking about the seasons, um... Mm, this year we uh, we didn't uh, see uh, this difference uh, between the seasons. Uh, all this year, uh, our company uh, increasing our volumes, uh, launching new gear, so it was uh, really good. But um, sometimes uh, we can see the low season, like uh, January, February, uh, the months after the holidays. Also, the vacation uh, period, like uh, August. Uh, but um, after this uh, low period, it's become uh, high. Yeah, so... What, what is the most profitable period? When, uh, when is this part in the year where everyone is like, I want to gamble, I want to win? <laughs> I think it's November, December. Uh, this month... So we are, uh, are right most now, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas okay. time. Christmas yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah, Christmas time is the best. I have to add also a few things and, about and, how and, to... and, and also salary time. Uh, if you want to uh, run gamble, uh, try with the salary dates. <laughs> so <laughs> many people want to uh, spend their money in casino. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Nikita? Yeah, I have to add also a few things about how to choose a casino offers. Uh, so the market is now experiencing like high competition and increase in the quantity and quality of products. And it becomes more complicated for brands to stay competitive and profitable. So as a result, opening the, a casino is by far not the hardest part in this life. So uh, it is difficult to create really good uh, quality product and sub the system, set up the system so the both and the brand and the affiliate partners work in a profitable way. So in 2023, in addition to all important factors, which mentioned Jane and Kirill, like payments, licenses, localizations, and everything else, the affiliate must focus on the reputation of the people behind the project. So new brands in the market complete the traffic through custom condition and better deals. But we encourage affiliate to study the product itself, more so that the conversions are not rejected and the brand is not turned off as a result. So also we recommend uh, discussing with the brand manager if they are targeting uh, uh, on your geo. So because uh, if they have just payments and languages, it doesn't mean that they are really interested in, uh, in developing of this market. Uh, and if some problems will appear on this geo, they can close it and say to you, sorry, guys, we decided to stop working on this geo and all players will be blocked there. So, yeah, we highly recommend to speak with the managers about it and about their main goals on this geo. So, by the way, our, our team can suggest good brands for the, each geo and we can find for every traffic source a good brand who will perform well. So, yes, if we can recommend one room also. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much uh, about this uh, 
uh, information about the offers. And now let's move to the traffic. So we have come with uh, the understanding how we are choosing the offer. So how we're choosing the traffic, actually. What do you think uh, the best uh, traffic source for 2023? Uh, maybe Kirill, maybe you can start. No? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I think oh, there sorry, are. Sorry, 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 yeah, some, some technical issues. Um, I think uh, that the most, uh, uh, the best traffic uh, in 2023 will be mobile traffic. Uh, also, I think we'll continue racking uh, search optimization for the applications. Um, also social networks, uh, but I'm not sure which one will rack in uh, next year. This year, it was the year of TikTok organic traffic and also TikTok streams. So maybe next year uh, we will see something new. Uh, who knows? Uh, so the, uh, our, uh, our vertical is very dynamic. So a lot of um, restrictions, uh, regulations, uh, also payments, uh, they're changing all the time. So it's uh, pretty difficult to tell now what will work really good in 2023. But anyway, it will be mobile. I think it will be social, but which one? Not sure. Um, I think uh, CO uh, will work. It's one of the best uh, traffic for all the times. Uh, so. People, they want to play, they will search for casinos, uh, they will uh, search the way how to have a great time online. So I think, uh, and I offer you to focus on SEO traffic, also uh, mobile, ACO, yeah. And um, I think uh, everyone can try for, uh, social like messengers uh, if they want to try uh, games like Aviator or Lucky Jet Crash Games. Uh, yeah, uh, any any affiliate can try it with the um, uh, this uh, free uh, free traffic sources like uh, messengers. OK, OK, that's uh, that's nice. And Jane, maybe you have uh, any other uh, traffic sources in your mind? Yeah, sure. First of all, uh, I suppose that uh, the best traffic source for you is uh, a traffic source uh, in what you are best at. For example, if you're best at uh, CO traffic, that's okay. Maybe you can't uh, target normally PB uh, uh, audience, for example, or you can't work uh, with uh, um, TikTok alternatives. Uh, but you are good at this uh, particular source of traffic and that would be for sure the best one for you. Of course, uh, if we are speaking about uh, advertisers, of course, uh, over the high quality is uh, traffic from Google, search, uh, uh, optimization, uh, also uh, different kinds uh, of um, uh, Phoebe targeted traffic uh, for uh, good targeting options, of course, uh, and also TikTok traffic. Uh, also, streamers, uh, they also, it's like a big new trend this year, streaming on TikTok, streaming uh, on other alternative uh, of uh, TikTok and lots of people uh, watch the streams they want to interact uh, like the streamer does they want to follow this trend and take part in this and uh, that's why uh, uh, this type of traffic is also really really good but also uh, uh, usual Facebook traffic, in-app traffic, push traffic, and native work really nice because if you understand how to optimize, how to make creatives for these uh, particular sources, you will be also uh, very successful in this. 
Okay, well, thank you. I totally agree with you on the mobile traffic because we see that Gabolin is working great for a mobile more than for the desktop, I think. Uh, and uh, for us, uh, we saw a huge, uh, a huge results in uh, push on the mobile and pops on mobile as well because uh, they work really great for these specific types of traffic, especially if you are choosing the new subscribers, because with the old subscribers, it can be tricky because gambling is really, really popular. Uh, so if you are an old subscriber, you have seen it all, like you have seen it all and more. So if you're new, you're more eager to try it out. And for uh, the conversions, I think that uh, direct click, uh, this is some, some people call it the main and uh, uh, it's working the best because uh, basically the conversion rate is really high there. So when uh, the um, user with uh, the deposits uh, need comes to us, then we're always advising uh, him to try the direct click. Okay, maybe uh, Nikita, maybe you have something to add. What are your um, what are your thoughts about traffic for twenty twenty three? Uh, yeah, we, we see that uh, it's been a kind of trend of user not choosing Google as their search engine. So we don't say that uh, Google is dying. No, it's our main traffic source. But we see that uh, the organic searches are really growing fast on the other traffic sources. So, for example, people are looking more often for some information on social networks like uh, TikTok or Instagram. So, yeah, in ACO, the uh, application search uh, optimizes that's why it's working so we recommend uh, paying attention to local popular social networks uh, and local search engines but um, our main traffic source is seo and uh, uh, we think that uh, in 2023 will be really a lot of crypto traffic and it uh, and we see that crypto market is growing really fast we see that users are increasingly looking for uh, crypto brands and also brands are really looking for crypto traffic. So I guess that it will be the trend of 2023 and crypto we websites, SEO, it's our suggestion. So that's, yes. Okay, thank you. And now let's move on to the hottest topic is uh, creatives and landing pages. Uh, so uh, do you see uh, any trends for 2023 about the creatives? And maybe do you see the change in the audience? Do you think the audience will change or will people be still the same who are interested in gambling? What is your opinion, Jay? Uh, so, as to uh, creatives and landing pages, of course, uh, we also suggest uh, uh, to watch the trends and to see our, uh, if uh, something in trend, you should follow this trend and uh, attract more users. And uh, it, as to, um, for example, aviator slots, yeah, right now, it's uh, really cool uh, if uh, an advertiser has uh, an aviator slot landing pages and uh, you should choose uh, that exact one because it's very popular. As well, uh, also working really nice uh, uh, landing pages with lots of interaction with the user. For example, different wheels, uh, different kinds of uh, uh, scratch bonuses and so on. Of course, everything depends on the traffic source. For the uh, push traffic, uh, uh, for example, for WeChats, we really recommend to use uh, this uh, exact landing pages with uh, in-built pre-landings, uh, with uh, this uh, these bonuses, with lots of interaction, wheels uh, to uh, choose one thing, uh, one bonus uh, which is hidden and uh, other tricks uh, this one psychological tricks that attract uh, people and uh, if uh, we are speaking about for example facebook and apps or google and apps usually we use um, wheel landing pages or pop-up reg registration uh, landing pages uh, or just simple registration pages because with the, the funnel, with the app, it works really fine. So you believe uh, in the pre-landing pages, right? Do you think it's uh, better to go with the pre-landing than just with the straight landing page? 
uh, depends on the traffic source. Uh, for oh. push and pops traffic, for sure, there should be a pre-landing, uh, and uh, uh, the user must be involved in the process. Uh, if, uh, the more the user is involved, uh, the more money you will have. <laughs> Just business. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Thank you. And uh, what do you think, Kirill? Uh, do you believe in pre landings or is it better to go with the landing page? And maybe you can tell us which parts are increasing uh, your profit. What, what should you look for on the landing page to know that it will be profitable? Uh, all depends on your traffic source. So if you use uh pop or push traffic, you should use landing pages and pre-landings. So uh, uh, the best uh, ones is the uh, playable. Yeah, uh, so any scratch wheels um, for casino. Uh, also uh, also um, for betting is really good, the landing pages with uh, special events a special match, uh, uh, so for example, when playing, uh, uh, so this month uh, will be a champ uh, world championship in Qatar, a football championship. So if you will use uh, landing pages with uh, this event, it will convert better than uh, just a football landing page. So check uh, the events, uh, nearest events, uh, also, bonuses will work. So when users see bonus, so what we will uh, get after the registration or after the uh, deposit. So it will, uh, works all the time. What about using famous people? Is it working or not really? Mm, it depends uh, on geo. But uh, our affiliates, they don't use uh, the popular uh, persons. But uh, some of our uh, affiliates, they um, use uh, influencers. Yeah. Um, by the way, influence marketing works uh, this year pretty good. So especially in Brazil, uh, this market uh, depends on, uh, on influencers. They believe them. Uh, they want to be like them. So uh, sometimes... Uh, you can use it uh, also famous uh, football player uh, or cricket for example for india um, the favorite teams uh, if you have a special blog maybe or a website uh, uh, with content of uh, for example fan page uh, something like this you can use the landing page with this uh, team or player so it also will work Okay, okay, thank you. And Nikita, maybe you have seen any difference uh, in terms of uh, the amount of fields that you need to uh, fill in for registration. Do you see how this influences in the conversion rate? Uh, yeah, so if the registration will be re really difficult, it, uh, it can be uh, it, it can be like a stop for the user and uh, the, the, all the way should be attractive. But, you know, maybe if you will add some gamification there to make a simple way, like not uh, user will see not a lot of fields in one screen. Maybe he will see one screen after one screen, uh, 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 another field, and it will be better. Uh, but uh, just to add a few words about uh, landing page, uh, I see that uh, more brands started working on their homepage, so they don't need to add some uh, additional landing page. They uh, brands start working on the on their homepage just to make uh, the funnel a little bit shorter and efficient, and remove additional uh, actions from the users. So. Uh, yeah, also I can add that uh, most of brands may uh, to make their homepage uh, unique, use different occasions like uh, Halloween or Champions League. So yeah, also just to make a good landing page, it is important to analyze the interest of users. So we have one interesting case about landing pages. Um, 
so we we had some traffic some websites with the traffic from one dollar uh, deposit keywords so and uh, we had a lot of traffic from that but uh, brands didn't perform in this traffic very well and uh, we we just communicated with one brand and they made the exclusive landing page for us there was like deposit just one dollar and you will get like 80 chances to win a jackpot so it it just uh, 80 free spins for just one dollar deposit and uh, it's it like burn it out all, all of this traffic and we we earn a lot uh, a lot of money so yeah the, the our tip like just uh, to work or to close the to finish the funnel marketing funnel yeah but for the creatives uh, it's it, nothing will change for tier 1 we recommend uh, focusing on emotions and feelings for tier three, big, big earning opportunities, expensive car, money on the bank, and rolling on the wrist, and uh, it will work one hundred percent. So yeah, and changing human feelings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we have seen the same uh, thing with the geo. So if we are talking about the European geo, European geo, this is more like I don't know, some kind of. Uh, success stories sometimes bonuses but nothing too crazy but when we talk about tier three there is like ladies gentlemen money everywhere so it's all about that and it's really working and from our side we also recommend to uh take uh, into consideration for which geo are you going so you know how to target them and if uh, it's uh, some kind of uh, for for example tier three or two or uh, tier uh, two geos then definitely you can go with something that will be promising in the terms of uh, the payouts that the users will get and uh, we have seen that for every geo this uh, like kind of urgency when you limit the time when you can get free spins or bonuses is boosting up your conversions because people think like oh i need to do it right now or else i will skip the, i will just miss this opportunity so they are going for it and totally agree with you on uh translation uh, i think you have told this before that the landing pages should be translated. Same goes to the creatives as we work with push traffic. You should always uh, check the translation because sometimes we see uh, we see these cases actually all the time when people are trying to translate using just like a Google translation for some language that they don't really know. And sometimes it's just totally opposite of what you have mentioned. If you are going to say you will win some funds, then it, it can it can come up like you will lose something. So this is not working, definitely. And uh, we just recommend you to change your creatives uh, uh, from time to time. So your, uh, your CTR is uh, high enough. And what we recommend to do is to go with uh, five to 10 creatives from the very start. So you can do this kind of an A-B testing to see which way is working for your audience because maybe you're going for a new geo and you don't really know much about it. So you can just test different uh, creatives and uh, find the best way for this specific geo for this specific audience. And uh, according to the landing pages, uh, when it comes to push traffic, you can go without the landing page because basically I think the landing page is enough and you have the creatives. But if you are going for pops, which is popular among uh, gambling, then definitely you need to have a pre-landing page because without it, it's not really working because pops is kind of really loud advertising. So it just pops up on your computer and you have no idea what is going on. And when you have the pre-landing, you have this possibility to just add little something so the user at least understand where, where he is and it just makes a big difference. So yeah, this is in terms of uh, push and pops in our network. Okay, so now let's move on uh, to our uh, next question. So do you guys think that 2023 will change much uh, in uh, the gaming industry? Uh, maybe anyone has any predictions in terms of the best geos. I think that we have talked about it. Uh, we have talked, uh, I think, uh, that Nikita have told us uh, a lot about uh, the geos. Maybe some of you guys, maybe Jane or Kirill, maybe you have something to add in terms of what do you think will be the hottest geo? 
Um, on my, uh, in my opinion, I think uh, that uh, Asia countries like uh, Vietnam, uh, Thailand, uh, Malaysia, uh, they will work uh, pretty good. In, in, and uh, these countries could be the next uh, countries like uh, India. Uh, so, and also Latin America, Latin America, Colombia, uh, Peru, Chile. Um, maybe Argentina, if they will uh, come out from their uh, economy situation, uh, it's pretty good geo, but not now. When the three currency exchange curses uh, in uh, the country, it doesn't work for gambling, uh, especially for us. But anyway, uh, Latin America, uh, Latin America will be number one uh, con uh, region, I think, next year. Okay, I got it. Ah, uh, Jane, yeah, yeah, maybe you have yeah. something. <laughs> uh, I totally agree with the guys uh, because uh, uh, right now uh, American and Asian markets they are developing, and every year they are developing so much. Uh, every year we have uh, new countries which start uh, performing really cool. For example, as to Asian market, uh, several years ago it was India, and this year Bangladesh is performing really nice. Uh, and uh, the next year we are waiting for the next Bangladesh in the Asian region. <laughs> yeah, totally agree. Totally agree with you. So thank you so much, guys, for all the answers. I think uh, that. It was really useful for our viewers and we have covered a lot. So now we will have uh, also some questions from them because not, not everything was clear. Some uh, people, they still have any additional questions and uh, I hope that you will help uh, me to cover everything. Uh, so uh, just before uh, the q and &A, I want to remind you uh, that if you have any question, you can uh, text it right now and we will answer them. And at the end of this Q&A, we will give you uh, the list of the bonuses and you will receive uh, an email with uh, this webinar recording, uh, this presentation, presentation, and also all the contacts uh, of uh, our experts uh, and all the bonuses will be also listed. So stay tuned. And if you have any question, just write it right now and we will go with it. So we have lots of questions today. I'm not sure that we will be able to answer all of them because we have limited time uh, left. I think we have something like 25 minutes. So let's uh, start with the questions and uh, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how it goes. If anything, we will answer the rest of the questions in the email and we'll send it to you as well. Uh, okay, so uh, this is like our uh, first question. So how much money is it possible to earn on gambling? So do you know anyone with a really huge success that we can just tell? <laughs> Oh, yours, Kirill. Maybe you can help us with that. What do you think? How much money can 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 you make on gambling? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I know a uh, big amount of different cases uh, where uh, our affiliates earn millions, uh, really billions of dollars working with uh, gambling uh, niche. So, um, I, I don't know, all depends on uh, how much time you want to spend uh, with your traffic, how, how you will work. Uh, also, each uh, person know uh, how much will be enough for him. So it's, I think uh, this vertical is unlimited. Uh, so also, I think if you work with uh, CO traffic, uh, you uh, and also you work uh, with the revenue share, for example, uh, you will earn for a long time. So, okay, okay, thank you. So, uh, we have an interesting question a question to gambling brands. If I'm a newbie but would like to start uh, with a CEO, uh, what is the easiest way to start one slot page or review website? And what uh, goes now, and what geos should I try first? 
I can answer on the, this question. Uh, for the for the newbie. We, we can provide some, some interesting promos. So uh, you can create a website with the general content. Uh, uh, with the general content, and we, like Revenue Lab, we can provide you reviews for the all brands for the geo which we will select. So you can select an example like Brazil and create some website with general content, like few pages in review site, like a general casino, uh, some games, maybe some slot providers. And uh, Revenue Lab will provide you a lot of uh, unique content from the brands. So we will request from the brands by your template there uh, and we will provide the reviews. So yeah, about Geo, uh, I recommend highly to check like maybe Eastern Europe or uh, Latin, uh, Latam. So an example like Brazil, Chile, it's a lot of traffic there. Maybe you can create a review website with the, some brand traffic because uh, it's a lot of the users Googling, uh, finding like uh, brands mostly than uh, general casino keywords. An example, they don't looking for uh, online casino keywords. They are looking for uh, like the brand names. So it's it, it's uh, big volumes there. So yeah, that's okay. a few. <laughs> a few tips. Uh, okay, so is it normal practice to request creatives from traffic source or affiliate network or advertiser? Why should I use them instead of my own? So from our side, our network can actually provide you with uh, our creatives. Uh, basically, what we usually, why we advise to use our creatives is just because we have lots of internal statistics on each country and we just know which way is working for the specific region and specific geos. So it's totally for free and uh, you can just do an A-B test. Uh, just to try our creatives and your creatives. And we just believe uh, that we have lots of info and we are eager to share it. Okay, so uh, what about you guys? What do you think about the creatives? Uh, is it a normal practice to use others? I suppose that uh, the main thing uh, is when you want to start some geo, you are a newbie and so on, uh, you need uh, uh, to uh, have uh, one or two spy services to see what is converting right now in this exact country and start not to copy these exact uh, creatives, but to make your own one, but with uh, the same uh, uh, colors, with the same images, uh, but a different one, a little bit. Uh, and uh, that, that will work for sure best uh, according to uh, different Facebook mechanisms and so on, you will uh, get higher CR uh, than uh, copying some other creatives. Uh, and uh, sometimes when people make just absolutely crazy creatives, they really work because they attract attention. And uh, that's why it's uh, really cool if you can look at others' creatives, but create your own one. Mm. Okay, so just uh, just some kind of inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Kirill, next, next question is for you. I've been promoting a one-win offer in India with uh, push and pop sets. I have tons of registration and retarget daily, uh, but no... Uh, FTDs yet. Uh, how, um, how do I get uh, FTDs uh, or should I just move to another geo? What do you think, uh, when is the time for you to move to another geo or when is the time to hold on to something? Um, I think uh, it's a better way to start uh, checking with uh, your fun uh, funnel. So how it works, uh, which creatives uh, do you use? So, um, misleading or not so so many uh, things uh, should check first of all before moving to other geo because uh india uh, our i think uh, in uh, top 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 uh, three geos so it's uh, it works works really good um 
maybe uh, need to check the audience you targeted for. So let's start from this. Anyway, you contact uh, me after this uh, webinar and we will see what happened there. Why I don't have FTDs, uh, maybe uh, something happened with the targeting. Let, let's see. Okay, and if uh, not the India, what would you go next? Uh, Brazil? Brazil. <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> Where is Brazil? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Of course, Brazil. And I, I suppose uh, uh, if uh, this person works, for example, with uh, ReChats or with other push platforms, it's very important to speak with the manager of uh, this platform and to ask for a white list or a blacklist uh, because uh, for example uh, this week uh, we are testing some our uh, in page and uh, push formats in rich ads and uh, it was extremely important to have a white list uh, from uh, the manager uh, to start because uh, it really economies uh, our strength and uh, also we understand that uh, these uh, exact ones are working and that one not and maybe also it's good to have uh, like tracking and to track uh, um, uh, different websites uh, which are not working at all for example you do not have any registrations or uh, these registrations are not of good quality maybe to ask uh, uh, some help from our push uh, ads uh, manager and then uh, from Kirill because uh, he uh, could uh, he understands uh, how the user performs for example if uh, it is not interested or something else maybe there is problem with uh, uh, phones uh, and models of phones and so on it's better to uh, consult from both sides I suppose yeah sure i totally agree but, uh yeah i think uh that this uh, uh this user is not working with us because i think uh there is there was no mention about us uh but yeah uh, i think uh that in uh, the push networks you can definitely uh ask uh, for whitelist and uh, what we do have right now is we have this option called performance mode so basically you are launching your campaign uh it's not available in uh, ui yet but uh you can just text your manager everyone has a manager uh, with your chats it's either just like an account manager or a support person and he can just uh switch you to this performance mode option and performance mode is just uh adjusting to uh, your kind of offer or your geo, your, uh, this, uh, the CPA that you're looking for. And basically it uh, gives you the best traffic sources, uh, depending on what budget are you going for. And uh, this is a great option, but definitely whitelist is working and uh, you should check and look into that. Okay. Uh, I think we have one more question. What licenses are required to be legal? All depends on geos you work uh, with. So uh, some geos you need the uh, local uh, licenses, uh, but uh, most of the online casinos, they work under uh, offshore uh, license. Yeah, for the affiliates, is few markets with where you require it, uh, like uh, affiliate license. So an example is USA state, in USA market. So just to promote uh, casino or betting offers there, you need the affiliate license. Also, I know about Greece. So Greece is uh, like kind of new market as well. So in Greece, just to operate, just to promote some uh, brands, you need to have affiliate license. And also one more interesting market is uh, Romania. So just uh, to promote the offers in Romania, you need the license. And uh, but uh, I have one information: uh, Revenue Lab has a license in Romania. So if you need to working on the debt market, we can help it with you, and you can work under our our own license. So, yeah. 
that's that's nice okay and uh also we have a question uh hey guys probably i miss it but what do you think about africa what uh is top three countries for africa maybe jane maybe uh, you can start. difficult oh uh, sorry uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh yes uh i think that market with the big potential but uh, um pretty difficult to work with uh, uh there because uh most of the african countries uh, have its own uh, license so uh, you need to, to work if you want to work there you need a local license uh, so sometimes it's uh, difficult because uh, uh, um small countries uh, in Africa and it takes a lot of time to get the license there. But um, I think that top three countries in uh, Africa, it's uh, South Africa, uh, Nigeria, and uh, I think Morocco. Uh, so <laughs> Morocco. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. Jean, what about you? Uh, as to us, uh, uh, for African region, also it's developing one. Uh, and uh, this year, I suppose the best one was Nigeria. Um, I, uh, also, we tried uh, uh, different offers in Kenya. Uh, but I should say that uh, for us, uh, just for our network, for our internal media buying teams, uh, Asian uh, and uh, Latin American markets uh, are most uh, uh, profitable right now than African ones. Maybe it will change, but uh, right now, if uh, we are speaking about the best uh, offers, I recommend uh, African. Uh, I, I recommend uh, or Nigeria from African or to start uh, the best geos uh, from Latin America and uh, Asian countries. Yeah, I totally agree. For us, uh, uh, the biggest African uh, geo for gambling is Nigeria as well. Uh, this was, the situation hasn't really changed. It was in 2021 and it was in 2022. I'm not sure if uh, in 2023 we will still have Nigeria as the best from Africa, but we will see. Uh, yeah, so uh, we have one question for WeChats. We'd love more recommendation on gambling offers with push traffic. Uh, so what would you recommend is, uh, would you recommend you to use uh, uh, this new subscribers option that I was talking about with the new users because it makes uh, a huge difference. Also, we have uh, different selections of traffic. So we have premium traffic, standard traffic, and remnant traffic. And when you go for push, definitely start and just grow with the premium traffic only because based on our internal statistic, this is the best traffic that we can provide uh, for a specific uh, traffic format. Uh, our new feature performance mode is great because uh, what the performance mode is doing is giving you even better than the premium traffic. Uh, so that would be the best quality uh, that you can look for. And uh, based on, uh, on our statistics, uh, it's like the best uh, traffic even like on the market. So we are really proud of this feature and we really recommend you to use it. And of course, uh, use uh, several creatives from five to 10 will be great because uh, you need to find the best way for the audience uh, and it's just easier to do it all at once. And what I also recommend you to do is when you set your first task, you need a limited budget. So don't go for the whole funds that you have because uh, when you work with push as well as with pops, it's all about optimization. So you launch your campaign on some limited budget, you gain the statistics, then you optimize, then you relaunch it again, then you optimize. And that's how you just scale the budget and you can come to whatever budget you want. But it's important to do the optimization. So the most successful campaigns that I have ever seen, they all had the blacklist and the micro bidding, and they all were optimized a few times a week, even on the long run. So this is, I think, uh, the keys to success when it comes to push uh, campaigns. Okay, so the next question that we have, what about France? 
Uh, is it a nice market to try or will you recommend another market to try instead? I think we're talking about Europe. So what are the best markets for Europe? What do you think? Uh, as to us, uh, the best market for us uh, is Italy. Uh, and it was uh, last year and this year as well. Um, and uh, there are several brands uh, which uh, are working there. And uh, I suppose uh, that's because maybe of the nature of people that they are so hot, they need some emotions and so on. Or maybe it's just uh, uh, our case, but uh, it, um, lots of uh, people which uh, whom I was spoken, uh, they also um, really wanted uh, some more Italian and uh, sometimes Portuguese offers. Uh, France, I can't say that it's really a strong geo for us. Uh, we have, of course, uh, some offers, but uh, as to um, uh, the geo that we are personally grow and uh, uh, our inner media alliance, uh, our affiliates run, it's Italy, of course. That's... Uh... That's nice. For us, I, I I think I have mentioned that it was a Germany. What do you think about Germany? It's also nice, but uh, this year they have lots of regulations. And that's why a lot of advertisers, uh, they are got uh, mm -mm, not maybe problems, but uh, they can have a, um, mm, or... Uh, some uh, lower payouts, uh, or they strictly look after this uh, traffic all the time. You need to um, uh, show all your creatives, uh, and uh, sometimes it's a, a little bit different uh, and uh, from other geos, and it's a little bit difficult for us uh, just to consult all the time and so on. Uh, but it's all because regulations. Hmm. Okay. I can add few words about Germany. Uh, uh, the German market is um, at the moment very hard to work there like an affiliate because uh, they the legal brands, the white brands can pay only CPA, not ref share on this market. Uh, so and also, as I know that the spin, when the user put the spin, the spin is like uh, spinning like 25 seconds so you cannot uh, lose the money and spin you, you know like uh, one spin per second so you just put the spin and wait 20 seconds or 15 seconds and after you can spin one more time and it, it is not really uh, pleased by users and uh, users are not happy with this so maybe they will make this regulation soon a little bit easier for, for the just because users of casino, they don't like these uh, new rules and they're trying to find uh, casinos without license just to, they didn't see there the same problem. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about France? Uh, do you have any experience with this particular job? Would you recommend or would you recommend to, uh, to change it? Uh, in terms of France, it's a huge betting market with a lot of fans. Uh, however, I recommend to choose a license as brands. We are preparing for the World Cup. Uh, it's a big event for all of us. So, yeah, and uh, the France is really the most interesting traffic for the betting. They are really, they really like to put bet on sports. So we recommend to check uh, licensed brands uh, and all will be good. World Cup is coming. So France is good market for this event. Okay, okay, got it. And I think we will have the last question uh, because we have been uh, talking about Bangladesh. So we have a question about this country. Uh, so what about CR in Bangladesh uh, from registration to deposit? I tried this geo, but CR is critically low, something like 0.004%. Uh, is it normal situation or should it be higher? Uh, I think it should be higher. Uh, we just uh, testing Bangladesh um, by our uh, uh, media buying. Uh, we implemented some uh, payment solutions there. Um, and uh, this uh, CR is critically low. So what about your CR? What from, do you have? Uh, also, 
So it depends on the traffic source. Uh, so the average could be from like 5% to 30%. So I think on uh, uh, search uh, optimization traffic, it should be like 50, 40, 50%. It could be also pay-per-click traffic from the Google. It will be really high. It's about 30, 50% as well. So uh, I think from a push or pop traffic, uh, it will be higher than uh, 1%. Uh, so I don't know why this uh, Mm, CR is so low, uh, but uh, I think uh, the issue with the payment solutions, if uh, the product uh, doesn't have uh, the local payment uh, solutions like Bcash or other wallets, so these uh, wallets, uh, e-wallets, they are most popular in Bangladesh, uh, no other way to work with these geo so cards, uh, it doesn't work, also crypto, uh, just one for I think thousand people will use uh, crypto or credit debit card uh, deposit. So just uh, check uh, what uh, payment solutions uh, this product uh, has. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I totally agree that it's really critically low. Uh, I mean, for push, it really depends on the geo and on the offer itself, but it can be something from. Uh, 5 to 15 easily. So I think uh, you know, this is really, uh, there is no uh, like traffic mentioning what the type of traffic is uh, this particular uh, client is using. But uh, well, uh, this is some kind of a low uh, situation. What do you uh, think about it, about the CR for uh, Bangladesh? Uh, what are your usual stats? Uh, maybe Nikita. Uh, to be honest, I, I I don't keep in mind the CR in Bangladesh, but yeah, I, I agree with Kirill that uh, you should check the local popular payment methods and brands should have them. So uh, there is Port Wallet, Amar Pay, it's super popular in in this country. So yeah, you, you it's it is not regulated country, so the payment methods are have the the main thing. So if the brand have the local support and they have the local language and they have local payments, it will work because it's, it is not a regulated country. So you should check. Yeah, crypto 100% uh, is not popular there. So local payment methods, you should check mm -hmm. if, if brand has always okay. So when it comes to Bangladesh, this uh, kind of lower CR uh, can only mean that there is something wrong with uh, the payment method. This is uh, the conclusion that we came up to. Yeah, so sure. I hope uh, that this helped. I think that we have still lots of questions, but we really don't have time. So we will answer some of them and uh, the email and we will send it to you. So thank you so much for all these questions. I hope it was helpful. And thank you so much. Uh, uh, Nikita Creel and Jane for helping me today for answering. It was really an honor to have you with us today and uh, it was really useful. We should do it again totally. Okay, so thank you so much. And I think that our webinar is coming to an end today. And uh, the only thing that is left uh, is our bonuses and just uh, sum up. So let me announce the bonuses that we will have. Uh, first bonus is from Richards, and we will give you a special bonus only for webinar uh, users. Okay, I see that there should there's some problems. Uh, let me know if we're good to go. Okay, one second, please. Are we good to go? Yeah. Okay. So sorry about it. Uh, so Rich Ads will give you a special bonus uh, only for uh, webinar viewers. We will give you a 10% bonus for your first deposit. Uh, <laughs> for your first deposit. Uh, I think that we have some issues. So I will just name the bonuses, but you will receive them all in the email. So don't worry about it. You will not lose anything. So 10% from Rich Ads uh, with special promo code GAMBLING22. 
Uh, we also have a pack of bonuses from our partners. So uh, register in iGaming Combo and send uh, the promo code uh, gambling swap uh, to your manager to uh, get a one hundred dollars uh, bonus when withdrawal six hundred uh, from iGaming Combo. Note bonus works only with gambling betting and crypto offers, as uh, this is the topic of our um, uh, webinar today. And also, uh, you will have you have right now all these bonuses uh in the chat so you can check it there as well register in one win partners to get a 100 dollars bonus on the first payout uh use the promo code uh reach ads webinar uh, as a bonus, Revenue Lab offers a free uh, analysis of a gaming audience uh, in one geo of your choice. So this is really nice. Uh, this is all we had for today. Uh, so thank you again for being with us. Uh, you have all the bonuses and all the information in the chat. We will also, also send it to you by the email. So you will find it there. So don't worry if you have missed something up. Uh, we, plan, we plan our next webinar really soon. So stay tuned. We will have another topic, some more guests, and uh, I hope it will be as useful as it was today. Uh, and get the latest updates uh, on all our news and the webinars in our Telegram channel. Find the link in the chat as well. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you to all our guests. It was a pleasure to meet you and to talk with you. And uh, in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, below and click the bell icon not to miss any videos from us. Uh, so we are waiting for you uh, on our next webinar and bye-bye and see you later.